Good morning, friends. It's the first Monday of 2023. 2023. Glad to meet you. Glad to be here. I hope you've had a great holiday season and a great new year and ready to start off 2023. I know some people have strong feelings about resolutions. They're all for them or all against them. Personally, I like the opportunity to hit a reset button and to evaluate where I've been and where I'm going, what I want to incorporate, what I don't want to incorporate, what's been serving me well, and what hasn't been serving me well. And the new year offers me the opportunity to do that. <clears throat> Let me introduce myself. My name is Reverend Melissa Ebkin. I'm the pastor of the Iliopolis and Nyanic Christian Churches. I'm the founder of Light, Life, and Love Ministries. This is an outreach effort to grow spiritual health and wellness, and I'm the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast. I'd like to welcome you to this first Monday in 2023 as we begin a discussion on forgiveness. Forgiveness is the ultimate reset action that we can take in our lives. Forgiveness is so powerful. It can change our lives in so many ways, both personally and professionally. Also, just a tidbit, whatever changes that we make in our lives to improve ourselves, whether that's growing at work or growing personally, those have ripple effects. When we become a better person, we become a better leader or employee. When we become a better manager or a better leader or a better in any way professionally, that also will spill over into our personal lives. So working on ourselves is a profound way to improve the quality of our lives and forgiveness is a superpower. The power of forgiveness can change our lives in drastic and manifold ways. So let's jump in. The power of forgiveness. <clears throat> let's start by talking about what it is and what it is not. So come up with a scenario in your mind, uh, pull something up of a time that someone has hurt you or caused you harm and you're still feeling it. You still, whenever you see that person, you still have all of those emotions that are attached to it. It kind of wells up in your belly or maybe you can feel the heat rising in your neck and face. But that's what's at stake, those emotions that are bound to that event. And what forgiveness is, is a letting go of those emotions that have bound us to that event and to that person. Easier said than done, I know, but there's a process for this. But forgiveness, to define forgiveness, to understand forgiveness, what it is, is a jettisoning, jettisoning of those emotions, those powerful emotions that are connected to that event. When we can look back on that event and not have those emotions that bind us to it, that's when we know we have forgiven someone. Now, forgiveness and reconciliation are often lumped together. They are two completely separate processes. Reconciliation may or may not happen after forgiveness. It happens depending on the risks that you attach to future wellness. So reconciliation is a separate step. We're not talking about that today. Today we're talking about forgiveness. <clears throat> so imagine in your workplace that every time you go to, I don't know, the copy room or whatever, a conference room, or you meet with a certain group of people, that there's a person in there that just <clears throat> gets your goat every time and it brings back all of those feelings. Wouldn't it be fantastic to not have those feelings? Wouldn't it be an amazing freedom for you to be able to interact with that person and not be bound by that past event? That is what's at stake. Forgiveness is powerful. Or personally, imagine that you're having an amazing day. All things are falling into place. You feel fantastic. You're grateful for all the good things you have in life. You're looking forward to the next thing and you go out, you stop at a little cafe. Maybe you're meeting a friend, you're stopping in for some coffee. And as soon as you walk in the door, there he is, or there she is. That person that just 
<clears throat> and your mood immediately changes and you have that lump in your gut. That's what we want to get rid of. That's the power forgiveness has so that you can interact, you can go on about your life and be freed from the emotion of that past event. So it's important to understand that forgiveness, we often say things that forgiveness is forgiving and forgetting. No, forgiveness is the ability to not feel the emotions any longer, to heal from them, not to suppress them, but to heal ourselves of those difficult emotions that go along with that event. So that's what we're about in January, is looking at forgiveness, looking at what holding grudges does to us, and looking at how forgiveness can free us from all of those negative effects and transform us and propel us forward into a happier, healthier life. And incorporating forgiveness will help us personally, professionally, in so many ways. We are going to grow as a person. We're gonna understand ourselves better. We will understand others better. better. We'll be better suited to connect and empower both ourselves and others. So that is what's at stake with forgiveness. And it's really compelling, isn't it? Wouldn't you love to be free from all of those things that are holding you back? I know I would, but it's not an easy process. It does take some courage on our part and we have to go to those places that we'd rather, rather not but that's the power of doing it. We can be super uncomfortable for a little while while we heal these emotions and then be freed from it. The alternative is to stay uncomfortable all the time, that at any random point in our lives, whether we're having a good day or a bad day, wham, those things can stop us in our tracks. That's what we're after, to be freed from those things. So friends, I invite you to tune in each Monday this month and check out the posts on social media. We're going to be digging deeply into this topic. And next Monday, we're going to be talking about the benefits of forgiveness, how they affect us physically, mentally, emotionally, how they color our outlook and our wellness. So for today, what I would love for you to do today is a takeaway from this video is to make a short list of the grudges that you're holding on to and take a moment to think about how they are impacting your life, how the negative effects from those are lingering with you. So do that, and I'll see you here again next Monday. Bye for now.